So what really happened in Florida to hand George W. Bush victory in the presidential election? Did he win the state or did something extraordinary happen in the run-up to the election that effectively delivered Florida for Bush? Newsnight has now unearthed evidence that 22,000 black and mostly Democratic voters were excluded from the electoral rolls by the private company which compiled them. That evidence will be presented at a special inquiry into the fairness of the ballot which begins in Miami tomorrow. Greg Pallast reports from Florida. Washington. The Marine Band plays Hail to the Chief for George W. Bush, 43rd President of the United States. But in Florida, some are singing Hail to the Thief. We're coming into Tallahassee, Jeb Bush country, and we want to know if George W. Bush won the election or did Brother Jeb steal it for him? Our investigation suggests that the answer lies in this shuttered building, the Capitol, and in a very expensive contract between Governor Jeb's Division of Elections and a private company named DBT, which accidentally wiped off the voter rolls thousands of Democratic voters. 18th floor, Division of Elections. We've come to ask Mr. Clayton Roberts, the director, a few questions. Roberts agreed to talk, but became a bit uncomfortable when he learned that we had obtained the secret DBT contract and asked him if he knew what DBT were up to. No, I didn't ask DBT. to. They do what we contract them to do. Uh -huh. We have a statute that says we have to have a private company to do this. We put it out for bid. They got the bid. And I think I'm done with this interview. Wait, well, let me just, ask, let me just show you the contract, if I could, Mr. Roberts. Wait. It says here, right in the contract, that the verification is supposed to be done by DBT, that you paid them $4 million. Don't you is, it could look to other people, don't you think, that you paid $4 million to purchase this election for the Republican Party? 95% wrong on the felon list? Mr. Roberts, could you just please answer the question regarding the contract? Instead, Mr. Roberts called out state troopers. It's interesting here, huh? Oh, man, never a dull moment. Don't ever go. Okay. I don't know why I had to call the police. We hadn't gotten to our difficult questions yet. The difficult questions are, did Governor Jeb Bush, his Secretary of State Catherine Harris, and her Director of Elections, Clayton Roberts, know they had wrongly barred 22,000 black Democrat voters before the elections? After the elections, did they use their powers to prevent the counting of yet another 20,000 votes for Al Gore? The Democrats say the answers are yes and yes. But in almost any other country in the world, if this had occurred, there probably would have been riots, uh, there probably would have been military troops uh, throughout the streets. Al Gore won the election, he won the popular vote, uh, and he won the vote in Florida. And I think that that's pretty clear. It wasn't done fairly. They shouldn't allow you to contest an election, didn't give you no way to contest it. Jeb Bush promised his brother he was going to deliver Florida. And I believe that the Republicans, uh, their strategy was at all costs, we deliver Florida. Where people were taken out of polls and stopped from voting? Yeah, I think that was not right. I think something, I smell a rat. <laughs> This is database technologies. This is the company that the state of Florida hired to remove the names of people who committed serious crimes from the voter list. I've obtained a document from inside this outfit. It's marked confidential and trade secret. It says that the company was paid millions of dollars to make telephone calls to verify that they actually got the right names, but they didn't. There's nothing in the state of Florida files that says that they actually made these telephone calls. So the question remains, why did the Republican leaders of this state pay millions for a list that stopped thousands of innocent Democrats from voting? The first list from DBT included 8,000 names from Texas supplied by George Bush's state officials. They said they were all felons, serious criminals barred from voting. As it turns out, almost none were. Local officials raised a ruckus, and DBT issued a new list naming 58,000 felons. But the one county which went through the whole expensive process of checking the new list name by name found it was still 95% wrong. 
they were going to verify. So to Reverend Willie Whiting was one of those removed from the voter rolls after DBT wrongly labeled him a serious criminal. I've never spent a night in jail. Never have. You were ever busted? No, I had, a, I had a speeding ticket probably 25, 30 years ago, I guess. Somewhere like that, but uh, that's about it. I'm not you think a, you should be allowed to vote if you had a speeding ticket? Absolutely. Okay. Absolutely. The Florida legislature likes to see young prisoners paraded in front of the Capitol in old cavalry uniforms. Me and Superman had a fight. Me and Superman had a fight. I hit him in the head with some kryptonite. I hit him in the head with some kryptonite. And more often than not in America, the prisoner's color is black. Because of the way DBT generated the list, every genuine black felon in the United States could knock out every black voter in Florida with the same surname and similar date of birth. And that's why the NAACP is suing Florida for violating voters' civil rights. Governor Bush, uh, Secretary of State Catherine Harris, Clay Roberts is the head of the Florida Department of Elections, all knew or should have known in advance that certain election policies and practices would disproportionately impact low-income areas and in particular uh, black citizens and other minority citizens and that this would uh, disproportionately impact uh, um, democratic voters uh, based on um, historical voting trends. Thank you, Florida. Altogether, it looks like this cost the Democrats about 22,000 votes in Florida, which George Bush won by only 537 votes. The U.S. Civil Rights Commission is also on the trail. They called in Bush, Harris, and Roberts. Bush did not convince his critics. You said resign already. You screwed up this state. You hope to steal this ballot. I love you, man. Commissioner Edley and his colleagues will be in Miami tomorrow to hear from voters who are wrongly disqualified. If you're going to do it, by all means, as a matter of due process, as a matter of fairness, it's got to be done with excruciating care. It's a democracy. The vote counts. There's a lot of public concern that the contractor who was selected uh, to do this is a firm that seems to have ties to the Republican Party. And they will be putting our evidence to database technologies. Their vice president, James Lee, told Newsnight that manual verification by telephone calls does not mean ringing people up to check they've got the right person. So, were they paid $4 million to produce a list which they knew would name thousands of innocent black people? In fact, DBT told Newsnight that Clayton Roberts and the state of Florida wanted there to be more names than were actually verified as being a convicted felon. So... Did they use their powers to prevent the count of 20,000 additional votes for the Democrats? You don't have to be black. In Palm Beach, America's privileged nurse their tans and their anger. Well, I thought I voted for Al Gore, but unfortunately I voted for Pat Buchanan. And I wasn't very happy about that because I am a Jewish voter and... He would have been the last person in the world I would have voted for. Wacky butterfly ballots caused thousands in this Democrat town to accidentally mess up, and they refused replacement ballots promised them by state law. From the time the election started until that awful decision that the Supreme Court made, I came across hundreds of people who had made a mistake, and I also saw over 13,000 complaints filed by people who live in Palm Beach County. In all, Palm Beach voting machines misread 27,000 ballots. Jeb Bush's Secretary of State, Katherine Harris, stopped them counting these votes by hand. She did the same to Gadsden, one of Florida's blackest, poorest, and most Democrat counties, where machines failed to count one in eight ballots. Again, Harris stopped the hand count. This alone cost Gore another 700 votes in an election in which Harris declared George Bush winner by only 537 votes. And in accordance with the laws of the state of Florida, I hereby declare Governor George W. Bush the winner of Florida's 25 electoral votes for the president 
of the United States. Harris was a busy woman in charge of Florida's vote count and co-chair of Bush's presidential campaign. Had she really been unbiased? Wouldn't the appropriate actions for her to be to say, let's really get to the bottom of this election and let's make sure every vote is counted? Lois Frankel represents Palm Beach in the state legislature where she leads the Democratic opposition. She wanted George Bush to win. And so she interpreted every rule, every law in a way to help George Bush. We're driving down to Miami to witness an American ritual. In Britain, you count the votes, then announce the winner. In Florida, they declare the winner first, and here we are, still counting the votes. She's showing the ballot in front of the light. They can see the light through uh, where the chads have been um, punched through. Then she holds it in front because sometimes you can see things um, in, in, in different light. Right. They have a, a whole column. Now, these ballot. are normally, I assume, machine red, right? Right, no, right. I mean, I mean, for the purpose of they are carefully going right. through the 179,855 uncounted ballots that Harris did not want tallied. They'll know the winner next month. Sources tell Newsnight Gore's ahead by 20,000 votes. The Biltmore. Grandest hotel in Miami. Democrats are upstairs eating chicken with their richest friends, charging $5,000 a plate. Let's see if we can get in. Not far away from the millionaires on the balcony, a voter had taken hostages at gunpoint, protesting against the election fraud. But here, it's back to champagne politics as usual. One Democrat, big shot at the soiree, whispered they would have done the same as Katherine Harris if they had the chance. But another, party chairman Bob Poe, remains bitter about this. Jeb Bush, Katherine Harris, Clay Roberts did absolutely everything that they could to, to stop every legitimate count of the vote. And that's what, that's what did us in. All fingers point to the Jeb Bush crew in Tallahassee. Investigators want to break through the iron shutters. I have to say that thus far we've been disappointed by the explanations, or perhaps I should say the lack of explanation provided by the state officials. Uh, when we spoke with the governor, with the secretary of state, and even with the director of the Bureau of Elections underneath the secretary of state, uh, they really were pointing fingers at everybody else, uh, saying, look, it wasn't our responsibility. We were in charge, uh, which was a very disheartening, disquieting thing for, uh, for us to hear as commissioners. Uh, who should be held accountable uh, for what clearly was a system that broke down. State officials point the finger at the counties and say it's their responsibility to check if the names on the list are real felons before disqualifying them. Clayton Roberts says his job is just to pass on the list. Roberts now admits he didn't bother to check with DBT if innocent people were on it. Uh, please turn off that camera. Off camera, he said, we did not call and say, did you check the list again? The whole tenor of this is like, okay, you screwed up. You didn't check with DBT, and if you want to hang this on me, that's fine. It's certainly fine for George W. Bush. Even if investigators conclude that Jeb Bush and the Republicans conspired to steal this election, the man in that house for the next four years will be George W. Bush. Greg Pallas reporting. And we did ask Catherine Harris, Florida's Secretary of State, for an interview to discuss all the issues raised in that film. Sadly, we didn't get any response.